Hi, this is Kevin, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to um, back up your Azure Blob um, storage accounts using Azure Policy. Um, in our previous video, we set this up manually, just creating the vault, creating the Azure Policy, um, and then going on to the actual storage account or actually into the vault and setting the backup from there. But if you're in an environment where you may have multiple storage accounts and a lot of uh, um, spread across different, say, possibly regions or, you know, subscriptions, then this way will actually make it a lot simpler to manage. So this would actually set up the vaulted or operational, um, just depending on where your storage, your, uh, your um, backup vault lives. So if you haven't checked out the last video, we went in, we actually set up a backup vault which I called Kevin test two here. And within this, we have one Azure storage protection to be configured. Now the data doesn't actually get written to, um, uh, the, it doesn't actually get written to the written to the backup vault, but it just, uh, allows you to manage it from here in a sense to do like restores and things like that. So, now we got this set up, the one thing we want to do is we want to actually put a tag on our storage account. And I'll show you uh, why here in a reason uh, or in a second. So if I go to the storage account and I go to tags, I want to create a tag called backup. And then the value is going to just be, you know, backup storage account. And we're going to hit apply. So you can kind of create tags to kind of manage resources in a certain way, whether it be financially, um, doing things like Azure policy, uh, you know, when you're querying for information, it could be a lot easier. So now that I created this tag, I can go into my Azure policy. And if I go under definitions, Now, Azure Policy, when you're setting these up, there's some delays and times on, uh, you know, propagation when you're setting these up, compliance, stuff like that. So if you don't see things change uh, immediately when you do add these policies to um, detect these certain types of things like backups, you might have to wait like 15, 20, 30 minutes for it to actually work. Or you can actually run a start AZ compliance scan from the Azure uh, AZ CLI to get it started a lot faster. So what I'm going to look for is um, in the backup category. So we're going to look for a backup. Oh. So and then what we want to look for is something with storage account. There we go. So we're going to slide this over. So configure backup for blobs on storage accounts with a given tag to an existing backup vault in the same region. And this other one says configure blob backups for all storage accounts that do not contain. So it's kind of the opposite. So we want this first one. So what I always recommend is don't actually touch the, um, the original one. You want to just do, even if you don't change anything, just duplicate it. Give it your own name. So I'm just going to, you know, take that out. And if you're, you know, working with, if you were at a particular company and you want to kind of differentiate your custom ones from the actual main ones, maybe you put, you know, company, you don't have to put the quotes, but I'm just saying company name and then the name of the policy. So you can do that. And then, you know, a little description. And then this is where you're going to want it to actually be applied at. So if you're wanting it to be applied at the management group level or the subscription level, you can do it there. I tend to kind of go at the uh, tenant group level if it's something that I feel like will be applied um, across all my subscriptions. So category, and then you don't have to change anything down here, but these are just some parameters and policy rules that must apply uh, for this policy to work. So as you can see, it has to be a stored V2, 
release the standard, um, HNS enabled. Um, so, you know, if you have issues with it not detecting or working, just make sure it follows the uh, information that's in there. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. And so it created that. So now what we'll need to do is go under assignments. And we're actually you don't have to go under assignments. Assignments will show up in there, but we'll basically assign this. Tenant root group, uh, root group, we won't have any exclusions. So you can uh, select resource to exclude from this policy, whether it be, you know, something in a specific uh, subscription, resource group, a type of resource, you can create your uh, scopes there. And then what we're basically going to go ahead and do is go into advanced. Nothing there we'll need. Now parameters is where we'll actually need to apply um, the right information. So the location of the storage account that we want to protect is going to be in East. East US. And the backup policy is so what we're going to do is let's open up another tab. And we'll grab that backup policy. Oh, and actually the policy needs to be actually in a specific format. They don't tell you that here, but you essentially need it to be, um, let's see. You, let's go to, let's go to backup center. Backup policies. We'll change the data source type. Or actually, let's go to vaults. Vaults. Click on our vault. Properties. Or no, policies. Change this to Azure Blobs. And then we need the, let's look at the JSON view. So we need this resource ID right here. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back and you have to put that. And the reason um, for that is it, it basically has a, uh, I ran into this problem before that whenever you try to actually um, run this by just putting the policy name in there, it doesn't find it um, based off just the name. It has some type of type of uh, concatenation that it uses to figure out what the policy is based on this string. So inclusion tag name. So what we basically need to do here is um, we, we need to put it in backup. So the, this is gonna be the tag name. So backup and then the inclusion value is going to be and it has to be in this format. Um, but I say backup storage account. And then we want to deploy if not exist. We're going to go next remediation. This is going to create a system assigned identity. Um, basically a managed identity that will be able to, um, you know, deploy the resources um, on the actual storage account itself. We can have a non-compliance message that we place on it that will basically just say, hey, we can put um, a storage account not in compliance, please check. And now that we got everything set up, we're going to go ahead and create this. Now, again, this does take some time to go into effect, but I do will show you what will go on here once this pops in here. So the assignment should show up in here. Let's refresh this. Actually, I found if you go back and we go to definitions, We can see mine here at the top, it says custom. And then we have our assignment. 
So basically this is an assignment and you can add multiple ones in here. So say if you have different tags, you might have different assignments and you can do things like initiatives and things like that, but we'll get into that in the next, in a different video. But basically all your assignments will follow this uh, same definition. Um, and then, you know, you get your parameters and stuff there. So with this now, what we could do is it's going to take time, but it's not going to show it now. We can go to view compliance and you should see that pop in here um, in about half an hour or so. You'll see it either say compliant or not compliant. And you can see that based off these filters that you select. And then as you start adding um, different tags and whatnot in there, you'll start seeing more and more drop in. And then once they're drop, they drop in and they're uh, not compliant, you can then come up to where it says create a remediation task. And it will go through and configure the backups on all those storage accounts without you having to do anything yourself. So it saves you a lot of time. Make sure, make sure everything is set up identical and there are no uh, gaps in coverage. So again, if you have any questions or issues with setting this up, or if it doesn't pop in, drop me a comment down below. I can sure, probably surely help you. Um, maybe you got like a tag or, you know, parameter or something wrong or, or whatever, or maybe even something um, uh, wrong in just the setup of the, uh, you know, assignment or definition if you made some um, adjustments to it. So again, that's one way to automate the uh, setup of backing up your Azure blobs um, um, across your environment. If you have any questions in regards to that, again, drop me a comment down below. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.